Hi, my name is Julia, and I'm a homeschool mom of two. In this video, we will be taking a closer look at just three out of the hundreds of science lessons available for Time for Learning high schoolers. Time for Learning is a complete curriculum which combines all the steps of the learning process through interactive and engaging lessons. These lessons review previous learning and build on students' new knowledge in a way that makes learning stick. To start, we're going to feature a lesson from our biology course. During this lesson, students will learn the five major types of interactions among organisms, including those of symbiotic relationships and with invasive species. What we will be talking about in today's lesson is the relationships between different kinds of organisms. All lessons throughout the science courses are organized in the same way. They begin with a thought-provoking warm-up focused on a guiding question and feature graphic organizers or interesting visuals to present the lesson goals. How invasive species can infect the environment they occupy. And for your science practice, describe various ways evidence can be interpreted or explained. Time for Learning lessons use a variety of styles to keep things fresh and diverse, like combining imagery such as videos and illustrations with texts and actual teachers. These features give the lessons personality far beyond regular textbooks. And within the instructional portions of the lessons, students are given clear definitions and explanations for the academic language they'll need to know to understand the content. In commensualism, one species benefits and the other species neither is harmed nor benefits. It's a short-term way of taking notes. At any time, the lessons within the courses may be played back for review. And once a student has already viewed the instruction, they have the ability to fast forward to the portion they would like to watch again. There is also an included feature for closed captioning. Use your understanding of the interactions among organisms, specifically symbiosis, to answer the questions provided. One of the most helpful features of the Time for Learning lessons is that questions are presented in different ways, like multiple choice, as well as drag and drop, sort, or drop down in some cases. This keeps students engaged, and the questions are positioned throughout the instruction to check understanding as the students progress. The interactions described are a form of symbiosis. Symbiosis is a long-term relationship between two different species. Now, let's jump to another lesson. At intervals throughout the science courses, there are virtual lab lessons like this one in the chemistry course. During this virtual lab, students will identify the reactants and products of a reaction. They will also write balanced equations for the reaction and use the data to classify it. The virtual labs are engaging and interactive, requiring students to complete the steps as though they were doing them with real materials in a lab setting. All labs begin with an explanation of the objective, so students have a clear understanding of the expected outcome. Here are the materials you will use in this virtual lab. Scan through the list before moving on. Within the preparation step, you'll notice that there is a student guide to provide students with ongoing support throughout the virtual experience. These guides also include a place for students to record and organize lab data as they complete the steps. Once students have completed the virtual labs, they are given an opportunity to reflect on what they observed by answering questions relevant to their findings. Reflect on the laboratory experiment that you did. They are encouraged to use the data they collected on the student guide during this time. The last activity for any virtual lab is the lab report. This activity provides a link to the lab report guide to give directions and support the students through its completion. The guide even includes information about the scientific process and suggestions for charts and graphs relevant to scientific data collection. Students are encouraged to refer to this guide for support before beginning their work. All Time for Learning Science courses include the tools necessary for students to succeed in the activities during which they apply what they've learned. These tools include a variety of calculators which they may refer to at any time. In the case of this lab report, students may use a standard calculator or a graphing calculator, and they also have access to the periodic table and a chemistry formula sheet.
Now for our last featured lesson. The time for learning science courses include engaging projects like this egg drop project in physics. Here, students will design a device to protect an egg on impact. These projects include plenty of tools like student guides to provide students with support while completing the projects. They also include rubrics for students to use before, during, and after their work to ensure they're on the right track. And parents, you'll appreciate these rubrics when viewing your students' submitted projects. This concludes the high school science demonstration. Please choose another subject or, if you'd like to learn more about how Time for Learning works, take a look at our How It Works page. Goodbye!